Imam Hamoui or Imam Hamavi, there are two ways of saying. Imam Hamoui or Imam Hamavi. He received Sai Bukhari from Imam Farabri. This is the sixth one. Sixth. And he was again in Mawara on Nahar. And from him, Bukhari was received by Imam Abu Hassan Abdul Rahman bin Muhammad bin Muzaffar bin Muhammad bin Dawood Ad Dawoodi Al Bushanji. Bushanja. Bushanji is again in Herat in Afghanistan. And this is the chain of Imam Nawawi. And we have the chain through Imam Ibn Hajar Asqalani. So again he was from Harat. And from him, Sai Bukhari was transmitted to Imam Abu Imam Abdullah Al-Ansari. He was known to be Imam Abdul Awwal Abdullah Al-Ansari. And his full name was Imam Abu Al-Waqt. Abdul Awwal Abdullah as Sijazi Al Haravi as Sufi. The third transmitter, the fourth transmitter of, of Sahih Bukhari for the whole Arab world and for the whole Indian subcontinent. The fourth transmitter of Sahih Bukhari for the whole Arab world and for the whole Indian and African subcontinent for the whole world is Imam Abdul Awwal Abul Waqt. Abdullah as Sijazi al Haravi as Sufi. He was the great Sufi of his time. And he was Murid of Imam Abdullah al Ansari. Sahibu Manazil al Sairin. Shaykh al Islam Abdullah Ansari. The great Imam of Tasawwuf. He was his Murid. And he gave him the name Abul Waqt because he held a great position and state in Tasawwuf and Ruhaniyyah. So he was one of the great Oliya and Sufiya of his time and he was the sole transmitter at this level for the whole world of Bukhari. So Bukhari came to the world through Sufiya. Sai Bukhari was transmitted to the whole world through Sufiya and Oliya. So what is the point of denying the significance of Tasawwuf? And next fifth transmitter was again Imam Abu Abdullah al Hussein bin Abi Bakr al Mubarak al Zabidi. These were from Yemen, the scholar. So these were the chains through which Sayyid Bukhari came to the scholars and came to the whole world. 